Hey guys, this is James with Elementor, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the bloat and speed comparison between Elementor and Oxygen, two very popular page builders for WordPress. So, uh, I built a demo page based off of a website called Tweed Barbers, which is a great website for a uh, Boston based barber company uh, and I built this in Oxygen and then I rebuilt it in Elementor using the same structure and layout and components. Uh, so we have two of the same pages. Then I ran these two same pages through GT Metrics to understand the performance and then we'll also compare the actual bloat um, uh, in relation to the code that makes up the individual page. So both of these pages first are running on Cloudways. Cloudways is my recommended host. Um, and this is a, just a great host. So I spun up a development server and on it I threw a uh, development website and the development website has these plugins on it. Um, Elementor, Elementor Pro, Hydrogen Pack and Oxygen, uh, WP Reset, and then just another plugin. Uh, so when I tested the Oxygen page, Elementor was disabled. When I tested the Elementor page, um, oxygen was disabled. So let's take a look at each page and then let's take a look at the page test. So here's our page uh, and let's get out of here. Here's our page uh, and this is the one made in oxygen. So we have our text and a button and a call to action and then background image uh, pattern. Then we have hover images and this is done by layering two images on top of each other and I just ripped these from the, the site. Uh, and then here's an image, a button, some content, and if you want to actually look at the site, it's Tweed Barbers. I didn't make it, I just copied it. Hopefully that's illegal. I hope it's legal. All right, um, then we have a couple buttons aligned in a three-column layout, and then we finally have three testimonials held within a slider. And that's how it works. You have a main section, a main section, a main section. And then within this secondary main section, we have three column, two column, three column. That's it. Page is recreated on Elementor and it looks a little bit different because the theme styling, because Elementor uses themes and Oxygen doesn't, the theme styling for 2020 WordPress comes through and it makes this text a little bit bigger. So I'm trying to make it look as similar as possible. Um, same hover images. And both of these done are, are, are done by using uh, image background and then changing the image background on hover for a, uh, for a div. Then we have our, our main content here. And then our slider. The sliders are a little bit different between the two page builders. So this is their slider element. This is oxygen slider element. Just something to consider. Uh, and then the other thing to understand is uh, we are using Google Fonts. So the Google font for this guy is Merriweather, and then this is like Nuo font or something. But both of these are using the same Google font, and these are not included in the base builder. These are not the default font, so these are changed fonts. All right, so I took both of these pages, took the URL because it's a public server, took each URL, put it into GT Metrics a couple times, ran the GT Metrics test, uh, and then downloaded the PDFs for the respective tests, and this is what I got. Uh, first up, we have oxygen. Performance score is 100%. Least contentful paint is 0 0.6 seconds. Uh, the thing to consider here is the fully loaded time is 1.3 seconds. Our total page size is under a millibyte, so it comes in at 727 kilobytes. The main thing here are the images, and the images make up almost, I want to say, 80% of the page size. Uh, total requests is 23, and this is re-displayed. This is actually interesting. Page request is 23 here. Page request is 24 here. Uh, maybe it's including this guy. But uh, this is redisplayed in our waterfall chart, which displays everything that was loaded, all of our assets. So breaking down the assets, this is the core oxygen stuff. Um, this is our universal CSS cache. This is the oxygen CSS cache. This is the styles for the WordPress website. Uh, and then we have our images. And then we have our slider assets, and this placeholder image is coming from a um, third-party placeholder.it service, so that's kind of slowing things down here. Um, uh, this is for our testimonial slider, testimonial slider. Um, this is the actual background for the hero. It's named footer background, but I put it in the hero of the page. These are additional images, uh, favicon, 
this uh, bam.nr.data.net is coming from uh, New Relic, which is installed on our Cloudways platform, and it shows up on both of them, so it's not impacting the loading time. Uh, and that's really what we get. So FCP 0.6, speed index 0.9, LCP 0.6, uh, no blocking time, no layout shift, TTI 0.6, um, good server metrics. So everything is good. Very fast loading page, great page, loads in 1.3 seconds. All the metrics here are under one second. Fairly lightweight page. Uh, the only thing that's making it a big page, and it's not even a big page, but the only thing that's increasing the size of the page is the images. And I didn't do any speed optimization here. So in the real world, I'd probably set it up on a short pitch, pixel uh, CDN and serve it as a WebP image, which would cut the image size down and we, we could make this load much faster than it does. But it's a, it's a high scoring page and that's this oxygen page right here. And I took this, threw it into GT metrics a couple of times, ran the report, downloaded, downloaded the PDF. Now, here is our Elementor page. Same page, different scores. Compared to Oxygen, we get an 89% out of 100. We get an LCP of 1.2 seconds compared to 0.6. And we get a total blocking time of almost 300 milliseconds, which is something that is notable. The page fully loaded time is 1.5 seconds. But the things to look at here is that the total page size, and this is compressed, is 1.29 millibytes. And you get 44 total page requests. Um, images are still the same. JavaScript is... A lot more font shows up now so that's something to consider uh, with oxygen our Google fonts even though we're using uh, the non-default Google font that's not showing up in our page size uh, total page requests a lot more and you can just see that the page has a lot more weight to it when compared to an oxygen page and we'll talk about that and why that is um, when taking a look at the bloat between the builders and then this is re-personified in our waterfall chart where you can see that the total request is a lot more than the oxygen waterfall chart. And that's because Elementor is loading animations, icons, a legacy minimized CSS style sheet, a front end CSS style sheet, a post CSS style sheet, global, another post CSS style sheet. I don't even know why that's loading. Uh, a bunch of Google font stuff. All of all of this is for the slider in the bottom. More of the slider in the bottom. Uh, all of the images, a share link. More images, the uh, new relic from Cloudways and a couple other things. So you can see that there's a lot more requests and there's a lot of requests for things that aren't being used on the Elementor page. Do we see any animated elements here there's no animation going on and there's no share buttons going on uh, and this slider compared to the oxygen slider it's a very similar slider but it's loading m more than twice the assets that oxygen is using to load and you can see this in the uncompressed size of 2.3 millibytes compared to 926 kilobytes for the oxygen page uh, and the the double amount of requests and our onload time is a lot more um, than oxygen. So basically Elementor, the same page, is loading twice as slow when compared to oxygen. And we can go and do some head-to-head -head comparisons now with the metrics. 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1 1.2, LCP 1.2. Um, and this is probably due to the JavaScript, the excess JavaScript that's pushing things back and increasing the load time uh, and doubling the load time, actually. TTI is 1.0. Then we actually have a total blocking time, which is probably caused by the JavaScript, um, the excess JavaScript in this page. And then CLS is still zero. And CLS being zero is good. And the browser timer timings are almost the same. And that's good because that means that the two pages are actually basically the same other than the builder that was used to create them. And there's no um, interference from the server. So the server times are basically the same, which means that um, the only difference here is caused by Elementor as opposed to Oxygen. Uh, and, and we can check here 
there's no total blocking time, no CLS, um, very similar time to first bite, only a five millisecond difference. So the, the main difference between these two pages is that one's using Elementor and one's using Oxygen. So black and white, we'll head back up. LCP 0 0.6, LCP 1.2, total blocking time 300, total blocking time 0, performance score 100%, performance score 89%. Larger page size, double the requests. Smaller page size, half the requests, almost half the requests. And uh, it's in, I mean, Elementor is slower than Oxygen. Now let's take a look at the bloat. This is the speed section. Now we're going to the bloat section of the video. And I want to show you kind of what makes up the Elementor page and then compare that to what makes up the Oxygen page, which should give you a good understanding of why Elementor is slower and why it is known to be slower and why Oxygen rightfully uh, advertises itself as a faster less bloated page builder. And I'm singling Elementor out because a lot of people ask this question, but I'm sure it would be a very similar story uh, if we're comparing to uh, Visual Bakery or WP Bakery or uh, Beaver Builder or any of those other builders out there. But I think Elementor is probably the most bloated out of everything. So let's take a look at what goes into making an oxygen button. First, the page is, here's our section then we have an inner wrap, then we have a div, then we have a, within the div, we have a headline text and button. This is what goes into the button. It's a, it's actually a link and uh, it's styled by CSS and that's it. So a single element contained within a div, which contains all of the elements that make up the hero section. That's it. Let's take a look at Elementor's button. So first we have a span of the button text, then we have a wrapper around that button text, then we have our general button container, but then wrapped is still a button specific wrapper, then we have a widget container, and then we have a button specific, because you can see this, a button specific widget wrapper. And then within that we have the other content, and then within that we have a bunch of additional wrappers and we finally make it, we finally make it to this section. So this button contains one, two, three, four, five, six elements. And this button contains a single element. And this is the main difference between Oxygen and Elementor. Elementor assigns a ton of wrappers. Uh, which increases the DOM size, which in turn increases the time of the page loading. It also includes, as we saw on the waterfall chart, a bunch of access no matter what. Even if you're not using them, they'll still show up on the page. But in, in comparison to the code bloat specifically, this is one single chunk of code. That's it. This is the only code that's being used to make this button. And then we have our button styles applied to it. And this is my custom class and then the global styling. So I could even cut out additional CSS if I style that button globally. For Elementor, it's six individual pieces of code. So all of that for a single button. That's all. I mean, this is a ton of stuff. And then with each, with each part, that goes into it, you have CSS applied to it. So really, you're doing a lot more here than in Oxygen. And this isn't just with the button, this is with everything. So let's take a look at this. This is another good example. To, to center this image within a three section column within a section, we have our image, then we have a wrapper around the image, and then we have a widget container, and then we have another widget. So to put an image in, we need four chunks of DOM. And then wrapped in that is another widget wrap, and then a column wrap, and then another column wrap, and then a row, and then a row container, and that's that. So we have all of this code just to align our image in the center. That must be 12 layers or something like 12 layers. Now here same layout 
we have our columns and then we have within the columns a single div and then within that single div we have our image three compared to 12 and that's really the difference here you can see a ton of specific classes on elementor a ton of wrappers and uh i think the main reason that elementor does this is because it is um necessary for the the builder on the back end to work but that's the trade-off i think you get a, a maybe a, a easier in the beginning to use and understand builder but you also get very poor website output very bloated website output and a slower page i mean the same page built with oxygen is twice as fast to load um, when compared to elementor and that's just a fact that's what was proved here it also is a bigger page um, it's almost twice as big as it is twice as big as the oxygen page and the requests are a lot more because it's loading a lot more assets and if you think back when I tested on GT metrics for oxygen, this was disabled. When I tested on GT metrics for Elementor, this was disabled. The only thing that remained enabled was WP reset, and that doesn't do anything on the front end, uh, which we could see from the waterfall charts. And we had the same server, which is a very fast server. Um, so to conclude this video, hopefully this showed you why Elementor is known to be more bloated than Oxygen, because it simply is. I mean, for a single button, you need four different wrappers on an Elementor website. For a single button, you need one single component on an Oxygen website, and that's how it should work. I mean, you have one component on a website, if you coded it in HTML, it would be a link and then styled with CSS. Um, that's it, that's one thing. It, it doesn't need eight million wrappers, and with Elementor to work, it does need eight million wrappers, but it just goes to show Oxygen code is less bloated than Elementor code. And because of that, the pages that you build with Oxygen, if they're comparable to Elementor, they will load a lot quicker than an Elementor page because of that. So Oxygen is a faster builder to use than Elementor. Uh, it creates faster front-end pages, it loads less assets, it caches your Google fonts. It's just a faster page builder in general. So hopefully this video is helpful if you're trying to compare Oxygen and Elementor, specifically the performance and bloat between the two. I recommend if you wanna do more research, um, if you go to oxygenbuilder.com slash try, they have a sandbox environment. If you go to the Elementor website, um, it should be built with Elementor and then you can take each component and create your own oxygen components and then compare them to the components on the Elementor website which are created with Elementor. And let's actually check if Elementor's website is made with Elementor to close this video because that would be really funny if it wasn't. I hope it is for their sake. Little slow to load, isn't it? Ah. Thank goodness, it is, it is created with Elementor. So what I would do is go, and I, the Oxygen website is created with Oxygen. So what I would do, if you wanna do code blow comparisons yourself, here's our Elementor website. And we've, we've gone here, and it's the same Elementor makeup as our website. Here's our Elementor website. This is a button, it takes four sections to make the button, and here's our Oxygen website. And we'll find a button. And that you could do this too. Just inspect the element and see how is this how is this page made compared to the other page. This is it. Here's your button, and then compare that to the other button. All right, so that's your your page speed comparison and your code bloat. Um, I'm going to link a companion article which has some screenshots from the GT metrics. You can take a look at the waterfall charts, stuff like that. But the moral of the story is um, Elementor is a more bloated page builder, and because of that, the pages that you create with Elementor that are comparable to Oxygen pages are slower to load on the front end. All right, hopefully that was a helpful video. Um, if you liked it, give it a like. If you loved it, give it a subscription or give me a subscription. Uh, comment any questions you may have. Take a look at that companion blog post. And until the next video, I will see you later.